wanted to backtrack a little bit and just kind of like start from the beginning, you know, talking about when you signed at 16 with Top Rank. You grew up like most young Puerto Rican men idolizing Miguel Cotto, right? Miguel Cotto was arguably the greatest boxer to fight under the Top Rank banner. Talk, talk to us about that feeling of signing that contract with Bob at 16, knowing that you had a chance. Like, bro, I could really be like following the footsteps of Cotto. Yeah, well, at the beginning, Top Rank was the, when, when we sat down as, as a team, my manager, my coach, myself, my family, um, we sat down and, and he asked me, he's like, hey, do, who, who do we want to, to, to go with? I mean, there's a lot of options. And um, from the get-go, I told him, I told him top rank. And, and he asked me, like, why? And I'm like, well, they've signed Miguel Cotto. That's my favorite fighter of all times. And they have made all these other fighters, I mean, legends of boxing, become who they are, become, become legends. So I want, I want to be able to follow those footsteps, the, to follow that, that greatness. You know, they know what they do. And, and they've, been, they've been doing it for, for years, decades. So that, that was the main thing. Like when I, first, when I first looked at at it, I'm like, top rank is the one to go with. I mean, they do a great job with all their fighters. And, and the, the way they develop them to become superstars and world champion is just amazing to me. Um, so yeah, from the get-go, like when we sat down, that was the first, the first thing I told my manager. And from there, I mean, kept winning. He told me now there's no, there's no room to to lose and to like come back the next tournament. You have to win it all. And man, I my last year in, in the amateur in the amateur where I didn't lose a tournament. I won four tournaments straight. And I won outstanding boxer of the tournament in the last one. And that's when two weeks after. New Year's, I remember, passed, and we, we had a little party. Two weeks after, he called me. He's like, hey, you ready to become a pro? And I'm like, of course. Like, I've been ready. And that's when we made the decision. I, I, I was literally, I was literally in, in 11th grade. I was, uh, I was a junior in high school when I signed my pro contract. And I remember I was in a field trip, and my boy, my boy came up to me, and he's like, yo, you're a professional? And I'm like, what do you mean? I didn't know they were going to make the announcement. I knew I signed, but I, you know, I couldn't say anything until they made the announcement. And he's like, yo, you're here. Top Rank posted you. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a professional. So it, it, that, that was a fun, that, like, that was funny because they didn't know. I did, but I couldn't say anything. And then when I saw it, I'm like, okay, like, I am a professional. So, yeah, I was, I was 16. And then after, you know, I, I transferred to, to online school. I finished my my high school in, in online. And um, we just started working on my development to, you know, make that transition from, from amateur to the pro game. Did you ever feel like you missed out a little bit though? Like on being a kid? Yeah, I feel like, I feel like that's something that every, every fighter um, will tell you. I definitely feel like I missed, I missed out in a lot of things, but I do not regret it though, because it made me who I am today. It got me to where I am today. And it's going to take me even further than, than what I'm doing. So I heard, uh, I heard uh, an advice that, that says, work hard now and enjoy later. And that's what I'm planning on doing. In my 30s, 40s, I'm planning on enjoying my life and just travel around the world and, and explore new things. And um, yeah, I definitely, I definitely mess out on a lot but it doesn't matter so you didn't you said you finished school online did you get to go to yes. go to prom no because i know no prom no prom but not because um i wasn't allowed to because actually my my high school the high school that i went to plantation high school they love me there i mean the principal the assistant principal everybody at the teachers everybody was really cool with me and they, they were gonna allow me but then COVID hit I was a 2020 class, so COVID hit and I couldn't couldn't make it there. Damn, ah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. I I almost didn't actually. Uh, I didn't get a chance to go to my junior prom, uh, because I got ex I got expelled for fighting. But um, I had to fight you my know, way to go to senior that's, prom. That that's crazy. I never well well I never went to no prom. I never went to no dances, no homecoming, really? none of that. Like I was oh. yeah, I was just I just. Like my man, my focus wasn't there. Like my focus wasn't on. All right, let's go party. Like I've never been in a party. You get what I'm saying? Like the only party that I've been is like family parties and like 
like events that that people invite me in but like a party party where you like go out and i've never been to one so this is just not my focus you know i never i've never got for this this people that i know that is like okay every weekend we're going out and that's like that's the religion every weekend they're out like i that's not what i believe in